You seem like a very intelligent brother, all right? Watch this right quick, though, Gene. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's strip. So you know what is an ox and an ass, right? It's a cattle and a donkey. They are two dumb animals, right? The Most High God is comparing the children of Israel to these animals. He is saying, basically, that we don't know where we come from, and we don't know who is our uh, our God, our nation. We don't know our nationality. Why you think so? Read. But Israel. But who? But Israel. Have you ever considered that you were an Israelite? You've never considered that. Watch how true the Bible is. Watch what it say, Gene. Do it not know. Uh huh. My people. My who? My people. Did you know that God has a people? Who is His people, Gene? Who is us? See this. Yes, but who 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 is me and you? The same thing with my brother here. Watch this. The same thing with my brother. Let's stick around. I want I want you to hear this too. Gene and what's your name? Laxin. Hail your brother. That's your brother Gene. Hail your brother man. So my name is Malachi. What I'm showing Gene is his nationality. Gene found out that he is from the tribe of Levi. Do you see yourself on this side, Laxin? Where do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as a West Indian, American, Black, Haitian? What do you see yourself as? Haitian. So, right, two of you are from the same tribe. From the tribe of Levi. Y'all understand that? The Bible said we won't consider that we are from the 12 tribes of Israel. You know why? Because our oppressors took away our nationality. They took away our heritage. Now we no longer subscribe to being Israel. You understand that, Gene? Watch this, finish it up. The ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's script. Uh -huh. But Israel, uh -huh. but Israel uh -huh. doeth not know. Uh -huh. My people doeth not consider. Right, you're an older fella. All your years of your life, you've never considered that you're from the tribe of Israel. Right? Same thing with you, Luxon. You've never considered that. That's how we know the Bible is a true book. We don't consider that we are the greatest people on this earth. Do you consider that, Gene? You think that you're great? You think that you're great? Watch this, Deuteronomy 28. Let me show you how does this Bible prophecy, verse 37. Because our nationality was taken away from us. Now knowing that, this is one of the curses that came upon the Israelites. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. Read it. And thou shalt become an astonishment. A proverb. A what? A proverb. Gene, what is a famous saying for the Haitians? What is a famous saying for Haitians? Same thing with you. What is a famous saying for Haitians? What do they like to say about Haitians? Uh-huh. Okay. What do they like to say about Haitians? <laughs> say, translate that? What does that mean? What do you say? We do a lot. We say they working hard. Okay. Yes, we are hard working people. That's a that's a wise saying on our people. You know why? Because we worked for our oppressors for 400 plus years. How we broke our backs to build where we are residing right now. So this is a proverb against the Haitians. Watch this. What else is against the Haitians? And a byword. A what? A byword. What is a byword? Meaning what? You will be called out of your God-given nationality. You will no longer know yourself as Levi. You will know us as what? Haitians? Who gave you the title Haitian? Who gave you that title? Look at the signs. Okay. Yeah, but who gave them that name? You didn't know about the prophet Moses? Right. But do you know the prophet Moses, if he was alive today, he would be called a Haitian too? He was from the tribe of Levi. Do you know that? Do you know how rich your blood that you have running through your veins are? The heritage that you have? Look at what they did to us. They took us and renamed us. They took away your heritage, your nationality. They took away your royal blood. They raped, robbed, and murdered the French. Am I right or am I wrong, Gene? The French did this to our people. You see what I'm saying, Luxon? 
not only y'all, us too, the so-called Bohemians. All of, yeah, we are black and skin, but but think about it. Hey, my sister, watch this. So, but before you go, what tribe do you come from? Before you go, what tribe? What tribe do you come from? Before you go, you come from the what tribe? What tribe? Levi. What tribe do you come from? Levi. Oh, you say Levi? What tribe do you come from? Levi. So the body you come from Levi. So now knowing your nationality, you know that there are requirements for the both of you. You know that? Watch this. Because you know you from the tribe of Levi, and you know you from the tribe of Levi. So why in the Christian church? You go to church? No. So why in the Christian church they don't teach us that we have to keep the laws of God? That's right. Why do you think so, uh, Gene? Why do you think they don't teach us the laws of God? Say that again. Ah, John 8.32. You said they teach us what they want to teach us so that they keep us away from the truth. Watch how true the Bible is. John 8.32. The book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32. We the know. day is your day. The day is your day. Watch this. And ye shall know the truth. Jean and Luxon, what shall they know? And ye shall know the truth. You shall know you're from the greatest nation on this earth. From the nation of Israel, from the tribe of Levi. This is the truth that you shall know. And what shall, knowing this, what shall it do for them? And the truth shall make you free. Right, this truth shall make us free. Once we know who we are, we know what is required of us now. Get that in Deuteronomy 10. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Uh -huh. And now, Israel. And now, Gene and Luxon. Now, from this very day forward. Watch this. What doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? Right, do you have kids, Gene? One, One kid. What about you? You don't got none yet. Okay. You have, you have siblings though. Right? Younger, right? Okay. Let's deal like that. Let's say you told your son. You have a son or a daughter, Gene? No. Son. Okay. Let's say you told your son, I need you to clean the yard or the house by, by time as I get back from work. Right? You following me, right, Gene? The same thing is what our God is saying here. We have requirements. So let's say he does not do it. What will you do to your son, Gene? I'll make him do it. You'll make him do it. But let's say, is there a punishment for him not doing what you say to do? Will he get chastised? Will he get the belt? Will he get whipping? Yes or no? Right. The same thing with our God. If we don't keep his commandments, this is what we're faced with. Slavery. Indoctrinations. Our heritage being taken away from us. But you understand what I'm saying? Watch this. I want to show you before you go. And now, Israel, uh -huh. what do with the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear the Lord thy God. Fear him. Because the Christian church don't teach us how to fear our God. Watch this. To walk in all his ways. Gene, are you walking in God's ways right now? How? Tell me how you're walking in God's ways. Are you keeping his commandments? You know what I want. Are you keeping his commandments, Leviticus? Are you keeping his? That's the number one question. Or, I can't keep on. I you can't keep on? So let me give you one right now. One right now. Watch this. Twenty-one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Watch this. You can't keep all, but you can keep one right now, right? Watch this. The book of Leviticus, chapter twenty-one, verse five. Uh -huh. no. They shall not make baldness upon their head, Read. neither shall they shave off the corner of their bed. The Bible said the Israelite man shall not do what? Shave their beards. Right. So if you say we can't keep all, this is one. Can you grow a bed? No. You cannot grow a bed? Gene, come on now, Gene. You stand, I can see you have bed underneath this mask. Uh, yeah, you cutting it. The Bible say what? 
He shall not do what? They shall not make boldness upon point. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. We shall not shave our beards. Look at all the men around you. This is one law that will change us if we apply it. By default, watch this, you're keeping the laws of the land, right? You don't kill, you don't steal. So if you could keep the laws of the land, why can't we keep the laws of God? Freedom. Think about it, Jane. I, I deal, we dealing as men. I right, I wrong, Loxon. Right, if we could keep the laws of the land by default, why can't we keep the laws of God? Which will change us as a people. You know why? Because we are too rebellious. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.